Hello, and welcome to a new TMNT Explainer video. Today I will be talking about the Foot Clan, from the comics to their most significant adaptations. The Foot Clan is a fictional ninja clan, usually led by the Shredder, and one of the most common Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles antagonists. They were originally created as a parody of the criminal clan known as The Hand, from the Daredevil comics in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles No. 1 by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Both ninja clans have their roots in feudal Japan, practice ninjutsu and black magic. Both also run powerful international crime rings that deal with multiple illegal activities, like drug smuggling, arms trafficking, and assassinations. In the original comics, the Foot Clan was started by two Japanese men known as Sato and Oshi. The story can be found in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 1, Issue 47. In that story, the Turtles and Renette Time traveled to a time prior to the creation of the Foot. Once there, Raphael met two friendly Ronins and taught them ninjutsu. Those two Ronins were Sato and Oshi, and they founded the Foot Clan under the philosophy that it would grow up from a small beginning, step by step, to become a powerful force. In time, others will join us, and we will become a force to be reckoned with. So just as every journey begins with a single step, we shall call ourselves the Foot. The Foot Clan became the most widely feared clan of ninja warriors in Japan. The Foot Clan master was protected by his elite guard. These elite guards could also lead small foot ninja teams in different types of missions. Additionally, there were also Foot Mystics. This type of clan member was introduced in the 2003 cartoon and made its way into the comics. I'll talk more about them later. Like in many adaptations of the clan, their logo is a drawing of a foot, technically a left foot, but it all depends on whether you are looking at it from above or from below. Closer in time, Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Nagi were shadow warriors of the clan. The two warriors were rivals over the love of a young woman named Tang Shen. This rivalry ended up in tragedy after Nagi attacked Shen and Yoshi killed him in retaliation. Having killed a fellow member of the clan, Yoshi lost his honor and fled to New York City with Shen. Nagi's younger brother, Oroku Saki, was adopted by the clan and trained to become a shadow warrior. When he peaked, Saki was sent to America to head the New York branch of the Foot Clan. Under his leadership, the clan became the most powerful organization in the city, but Saki wanted revenge for his brother's death. So, using the persona of the Shredder, he killed Yoshi and Shin. Years later, the Turtles would challenge the Shredder to a duel to avenge Yoshi, as they were raised by Yoshi's pet rat. Shredder was killed in that challenge, but that wasn't the end of the Foot Clan. The Foot depended too much on Saki, so they brought him back to life by using a blend of ancient magic and modern science. The way he was resurrected involved a species of colony worms that fed from Saki's remains. These worms would be able to form together a replica of him. The turtles eventually put an end to this Shredder clone, and they left the Foot Clan without a leader and completely divided about what they should do next. An internal war started affecting the city as the Foot Ninja had to fight the Shredder's elite guard, who were too invested in avenging their late master. It was then that Karai, the clan leader from Japan, came to New York to stop this war, but it came with a price for her as the elite slew her daughter. After killing all the elites, she regained control and agreed a truce with the Turtles, as long as they never tried to avenge the Shredder's death ever again. Later, when the Utroms set up a base on Earth during Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 4, the Foot were given a security contract to protect their base. The reason for this was that they were the only ones that could defend it without using weapons. But the Foot Clan started getting attacked by mysterious warriors all over the world. This story never got a resolution but it was implied that the New York branch was the only part of the clan that was left. Apart from Karai, another known member of the clan during Volume 4 was Chai Acho. Cha Acho was a former policeman that ended up becoming captain of the Foot Clan. He has a scar, which was the result of a fight he had with Leonardo. The two started a rivalry back then, but this didn't prevent Cha and Raphael from bonding. The Foot Clan was played down a lot in the 1987 cartoon adaptation but it had its own origin that also involved time travel. In 1583, one of Shredder's ancestors, Oroku Sancho, led a small group of samurais. A time-traveling Shredder then offered to help him become more powerful by finding magical artifacts. Yoshi's ancestor, Hamato Koji, was also looking for the same artifacts, and with the help of time-displaced Splinter and the Turtles, he was able to find them. One of these artifacts released a dragon that was headed to nearby villages. 
Splinter and Koji teamed up to stop the dragon, while the turtles took care of the Shredder and Sancho. But the turtles were captured by Sancho's men, and they were about to be executed until they were rescued by Koji, who was riding the dragon he just tamed. After Sancho fleeing the scene in fear, Koji offered to lead his men and teach them the ninjutsu art of Shibana-sama. Inspired by the footprint of the dragon, in which Koji stood as he made his speech, the Foot Clan was born. But the Foot Clan took a turn for the worst in the 60s, as both Oroku Saki and Hamato Yoshi were part of it. Saki framed his master Yoshi and had him exiled to New York City. With Yoshi out of the way, Saki took over the clan as master and turned it into a criminal organization. Saki changed his name to the Shredder and moved to the United States, where he allied himself with the exiled alien warlord known as Krang. He eventually replaced all foot ninja with androids. This change was necessary for the show to appeal to younger kids, as there are no consequences if the Turtles destroyed one of these androids with their weapons. Back to comics, in the non-canon volume published by Image Comics, the character of Pumiko was introduced. Pumiko was the illegitimate daughter of Oroku Saki. This was expanded decades later in IDW's TMNT Urban Legends. During this time, Raphael took the role of the Shredder to lead the clan, later to be challenged by the mysterious Lady Shredder, which was... Well... That is a very complicated story for another day. Moving on to the movies, not much is known about the origins of the clan. We do know that they originated in Japan as a street gang and moved to New York to run a criminal underground ring. While these street kids are trained in ninjutsu, they are mostly known for their robberies. Apart from the Shredder, who is a mashup of both Oroku Nagi and Oroku Saki, the clan has a second in command, Tatsu. The clan uses the kanji oni instead of a foot in their logo. This kanji translates as demon or ogre. In the 2007 TMNT movie, the clan was led by Karai, as the Shredder was defeated at some point in the past. It is implied he was defeated in the secret of the ooze, but this movie may or may not be in the same universe. They act mostly as mercenaries in this story. Had this movie had sequels, we would have seen an adaptation of City at War and the return of the Shredder. The next big adaptation takes place in the 2003 cartoon. In this version, the clan was founded by the original Oroku Saki 1,000 years before in feudal Japan. The foot emblem was a red, trident-like footprint. This was a perversion of the symbol of the five warriors who defeated the original Tengu Shredder, the three-toed sign of the dragon. That is a story explored in another video. Apart from the elite guards, this version also has more specialized foot ninja. The foot tech ninja are warriors with specialized stealth armor that allows them to become almost invisible. The foot mystics are five magic users, each one with powers corresponding to a different natural element, wind, earth, fire, water and metal. The mystics had black magic powers and obeyed whoever held the medallion known as the Heart of Tengu. They were able to bring back Oroku Saki from the dead. More about that is explained on a different video. Back to the comics, this time to the IDW Volume 5. In this version, the clan existed since the time of feudal Japan, where it was founded by a ronin by the name of Takishi Tatsuo, who had been betrayed by his master. The sorceress Kitsune helped Tatsuo to recover from the severe wounds he had suffered in the assassination attempt. The name of the clan was inspired by the bloody footprint of Tatsuo, whose lost leg was completely healed by Kitsune's ministrations. Years after Tatsuo had formed the Foot Clan from the remnants of the Yu Clan, the Foot Clan had an alliance with Kitsune, who served the powerful Tetsuoni, the Iron Demon. The clan became extremely ruthless, carrying out atrocities in the name of the Oni, including burning villages to the ground and slaughtering women and children. Many members of the clan, led by Oroku Maji and Masato, disagreed with the path the clan was taking and were becoming fed up with its brutal tactics. One night as the clan was carrying out the Iron Demon's orders, Maji and Masato had their suspicions confirmed, seeing the witch Kitsune using magic. They formulated and executed a plan to take down Takishi Tatsuo and restore their clan's honor. A battle ensued, and Oroku Maji slayed Takishi Tatsuo. Kitsune cursed Maji, stating that his downfall would come from his own house, Tatsuo's soul was born again in the son of his murderer, Oroku Saki. Kitsune aided Saki in accessing the memories of his previous life as Takeshi Tatsuo. Saki and Kitsune plotted to once again enlist the aid of the Iron Demon, 
who is secretly in Utram and retaking the Foot Clan. Orokusaki and Kitsune stood before the shrine to the Iron Demon, the interdimensional portal the Utram used to travel. Kitsune said she had found the key to permanent immortality, and all it required was more of the Utram's elixir. The Utram stepped through the portal with a canister of mutagen and was then ambushed by a group of foot soldiers shooting flaming arrows. Saki drank a highly potent preparation of the Utram's mutagen and committed harakiri. His body was then put in a casket and submerged in pure mutagen. Saki died, but his spirit was bound to his body, and over the years his body and spirit were strengthened by the mutagen. One day his descendant Karai woke him with a blood ritual, completing Saki's transformation into the Dragon Warrior. The clan was then under the leadership of a now immortal Saki, now going by the name of the Shredder, and tried to expand its supremacy in New York City. The Foot Clan came into contact with the extra-dimensional Warlord General Krang, who, like them, wanted to create a mutant army to meet his objectives. An attack by the Foot in the laboratory of Krang's ally Baxter Stockman led by a combination of circumstances to the creation of the Turtles and their father Splinter. You can find out more about the Turtles' origin in the IDW origin video in this channel. After Saki's death, Karai gave Splinter the rank of Jonin and control of the Foot Clan. The Foot Clan eventually went back under Karai's management. The origin of the 2012 series Foot Clan is explained in another video, but broadly speaking, this is what happened. The Foot Clan was founded by Koga Takuza, who also crafted the Kuro Kabuto, the helmet the Shredder wears. The Foot Clan and the Hamato Clan were longtime rivals, until the Foot Clan was completely decimated. Hamato Yuyuta adopted baby Oroku Saki and raised him as a brother to Yoshi, but Saki eventually discovered his origins and decided to get revenge at Yuyuta, decimating the Hamato clan. In his confrontation with Hamato Yoshi, he thought him dead and took his daughter, Miwa, as his own. Just like Hamato Yuyuta did with him, Saki changed Miwa's name to Karai. Saki found the Kuro Kabuto and started calling himself the Shredder. He rebuilt the clan until it became a criminal syndicate. This version of the clan originally had human ninjas, but slowly transitioned into androids, once they allied themselves with the Krang. By the end of the series, the clan and the turtles agreed to a truce. Karai became the master of the clan, with a second in command, Shinigami. The Foot Clan was also adapted into the 2014 and 2016 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies, but in this version, the Foot was not a ninja clan, but a terrorist organization. They were called the Foot because they step over the good people of the city with no regard. It was led by the Shredder, kind of, and Karai was a second in command. But she is Karai in name only, and that is all there is to say about this version of the clan. Our last stop, for now, is the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. In this version, the Foot Clan existed more than 500 years before, in Japan. Hamato Karai was the daughter of Foot Clan leader Oroku Saki, who was once a peaceful Jonin, but his soul became corrupted into the Shredder after an alien named Krang gave him the Kuro Yoroi armor. Karai opposed what her father had become, and founded the Hamato Clan with the purpose of opposing the Shredder and his dark armor. More about the Hamato Clan can be found in the rise of the TMNT Explainer video. Foot Clan would gradually revive the Shredder by reassembling the Dark Armor. With the help of an ancient technique of the Hamato Clan, the Turtles and their allies joined forces to destroy the Kuro Yuroi once and for all. This had the effect of freeing Orokusaki's soul from its corrupting influence, allowing his spirit to move on peacefully with his daughter Karai. And that is all for today. Many of these origins were expanded in several other explainers in this channel, so check them out if you want to know more about them. Give this video a like if you found it useful, and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions down below. Thanks for watching.